And we're committed to you here at Fox Carolina. Greenville County leaders want to put a penny sales tax on the ballot in November to fix those roads. But first, they need to choose which projects to fund. Yeah, this is a big one that we've been covering for quite a while now. Well, tonight, the county held the first public meeting in Malden. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris was there and tells us more. Oh, terrible, terrible road. They will fix it and three months down the road, they got to fix again. That's how Sally Ann Mao describes Holland Road in Simpsonville. She and a few dozen residents came out to see if their problem roads made the list. A very nice lady came to me and took me and checked the road. It's a tier one and they'll get a fix first. So I'm happy. Although this is just a proposed list made by county staff, the penny tax commissioners will make the final list that you'll see on the ballot. It's become a safety issue, it's become an efficiency issue, it's become an economic issue. This meeting served as an opportunity for the community to learn the process and also give feedback. The commission needs to know what you think the county missed on their proposed list. The public needs to look at what has been recommended and then tell us if that's correct or not and if not what needs to be done. The penny tax is estimated to generate $131 million a year in Greenville adding up to more than 1 billion over eight years. It wouldn't tax groceries or medicine. Some residents are against the tax, saying the county could make more room in the budget for road maintenance. Others say paying an extra penny won't hurt if it gets the job done. I was going to vote no. But I think I'm changing it to yes, because there are, they do need money to get the roads fixed. We have very bad roads. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. On the next public input meeting, that'll be Thursday at the Cannon Center. That's in Greer from 5 to 7 o'clock. And you can also give your feedback online. You can find more details at foxcarolina.com.